We are at the premises of divine acceleration this morning. Last oh, last week and then the other week we were dealing with what triumph is all about because I said the other time that it is important not just to assume the theme of the year. It is important for the church to understand exactly what God is saying. If God says it's our year of triumph and divine acceleration, that certainly means that divine acceleration and triumph is the promised land, is the land of milk and honey for the church. And so it is of no use rushing over the real essence of where the people are going. And so I thought it wise, and I know the Spirit of God is leading me to prophetically, strategically, communicate the theme of this year so that we can run with it the bible says in Habakkuk says write the vision and make it plain that he that run it can run smoothly making vision plain is making vision understood and I'm believing God this morning that somebody will understand exactly where God is taking us to this year in the name of Jesus. And so last week we were dealing with the man Elijah and we drew our inspiration and our drive from the speed of Elijah who overtakes Ahab at the gate Jezreel. And it's important for us to remember the fact that Ahab was on a chariot and Elijah was on foot. And the mystery remains what the spirit of God revealed to us last week and i want to believe that for one week somebody has been in the spirit of elijah i said i want to believe that for one week and through this year you and i will be walking at the pace at the speed of the spirit of elijah a chariot might have meant the best cars in those days and the best of qualities but how come a natural human being with their legs was able to overtake the chariot I want to say something there's somebody sitting here and you're from a very very low background and nobody recognizes you nobody knows you and you're wondering how people make it to the top there is a man called Elijah who taught us something in the Word of God which is there is a divine extra ability that can come over your life this year that what nobody ever did in your family I don't know if I'm communicating because before Elijah overtook Ahab at the gate Jezreel, nobody had done it before. Running at that speed, at that velocity, if we have to put up the formula here, we're going to be having something like A is equals to V minus V, and then over T, and then, and then, and all of that. Whatever the case is, I want to say there is a conversion of all of this jargon into the supernatural, and it's resting upon somebody as a spirit, as a dimension, as an, ab as an ability, as a drive, to arise out of your bed of sleep and slumber and begin to do what you could not do before to arise i don't know what you did before that frustrated you to try it again try that business again to try that career again i don't know who i'm talking to here to try that thing again because this year you're not doing it by your might you're not doing it by your power you are doing it by the spirit and the spirit of speed is the spirit of elijah it's resting upon zion family this year let me hear people say a loud amen. Yeah. 